Masa kadhaa aliyopita tulifanya story ya producer anayejulikana kama Mr. KS. Huyu ni producer ambaye amefanya kazi safi na aliachilia wimbo wake mashuhuri unaojulikana kama One Night Stand miaka mitatu iliyopita. Na kulingana na producer huyu alikuja na madai fulani na kusema kwamba mwanamuziki bahati aliba idea fulani kutoka kwa wimbo wake wa One Night Stand akaeka pale kwa wimbo wake wa DX ambao bahati aliachilia tu siku kadhaa zilizopita. Na kulingana na KS madai yake anadai kwamba uh, bahati went behind his back and he used the producer of uh, DX aka make sure kwamba huyu producer me pull down wimbo wa KS unaojulikana kama uh, One Night Stand yani alitumia producer wa DX ambaye amejulikana kama Teddy B lakini unaonekana kwamba story imegeuka na kufanywa kwamba uh, KS ye ndio mwenye hatia na kulingana na madai haya ambayo meneja wa bahati umekuja nayo anasema kwamba KX KS sorry ndio aliiba wimbo wa One Night Stand kuna idea fulani pale aliyeka kutoka kwa wimbo ambao TDB alikuwa amefanya na mwanamuziki fulani many years before KS released his song na huyu ni mwanamuziki anayejulikana kama Willie Paul kulingana na yale madai ambayo Wisdom amesema ambaye ni meneja wa bahati kupitia uh, Ed Gobare anadai kwamba KS yeye ndiye mwenye hatia na ndio maana ule wimbo wake wa One Night Stand ukapuliwa down via ADB ambaye ni producer wa ule wimbo wa Willie Paul ambao alifanya miaka kadhaa iliyopita kabla ya Yes ajachilia wimbo wake. Na hivi ndivyo wisdom alisema kupitia Edgar Bare. Hi Edgar, I believe this finds you well. Bro at times try to do some due diligence before posting a story. As part of Bahati's management, we usually try as much as possible not to reply to malicious allegations, especially in this case that we have never heard of this guy before. But when Bahati received the email, he just called back to show respect. Lakini sasa huyu gave alipatana na upole ya Bahati akai take for weakness. He falsely claimed to be the producer to our new song Dear X sampled a string from him na hata TDB mwenyewe hajawahi msikia surely when he noticed bahati was that humbled to follow up uh, if it's true akaitisha 2.5 million kenyan shillings yeah hey, hey. Hmm. all this time we had not involved TDB imagine TDB akasikiza wimbo ya huyu gadhe anataka kuomoka na 2.5 million Alipata that guy himself had sampled a song he had produced for our friend Willie Paul and Alain over five years ago. I think that's when the DB decided to strike him from YouTube. Yeah? Kwa hivyo naonekana kwamba KS ndio mwenye hatia kulingana na yale madai ambayo Wisdom amekuja nayo. Kumbuka kwamba as Plug TV we don't take sides we only give you the story na nyinyi kama mashabiki mnachagua which side you want to take we are not biased hayo ni madai ya wisdom mwenyewe na wisdom mwenyewe akiendelea kusema hivi the guy is really chasing clout at as jaona akimention a liba from tdb that's why his song is no longer on youtube so ameamua ku trend na bahati okay mr edgar please make him famous cause he has 100 followers Wow. Kwa hivyo wimbo wa One Night Stand kulingana na Wisdom, wimbo huu a uh, uh, KS aliba sample fulani kutoka kwa wimbo wa Yes I Do. Na TDB mwenyewe ndio ali producer wimbo wa Yes I Do by the way. Na ndio maana sasa ile take down notice ilitoka kwa TDB, haikutoka kwa management ya Bahati. Kama ingekuwa imetoka kwa Bahati probably pale kwenye notification pale ya ile email ingeandikwa on behalf of bahati but pale kwa notification naona kwamba ni tdb ndio ali pull down kwa hivyo ni tdb mwenyewe alienda ku pull down ile wimbo kwa sababu ilikuwa copied from Willy Paul's song yes i do wimbo ambao alifanya na alain many years ago before uh okay yes achilie wimbo wake hebu sikizeni kwanza hii beat ya yes i do na wimbo wa Okay yes wa one it stand Are they similar? Jeza fanana. 
Anyway, sijui kenya nitasema we don't take sides. Achie ni maoni yenu kwenye comment section hapo mtuambie. Thank you for watching. Let's meet next time. Bye bye.